Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. Today I'm going to answer a question that sometimes comes to me from even non-diabetics. So why do diabetics take insulin? So it's an easy answer, right? But before that, let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Ergin. I'm a, I'm a diabetes expert. I see diabetes every day in my clinic and I am happy to answer your questions here in this platform. Uh, not necessarily personal questions, but definitely journal questions will take and I'm trying to answer all the questions in these videos. Now, um, why diabetics sometimes need insulin? If you have type 1 diabetes, your body basically gives up making insulin. So you have no choice but to take insulin. Now most people, like, they will start taking insulin at age 2, 3, and they take insulin entire their life, and as long as they know what they're doing, they have no problem whatsoever. Now, uh, why type 2 diabetics end up taking insulin? Why do they become insulin dependent? Now most of the time, they don't actually need to take insulin, but they end up being on insulin because sometimes doctors don't consider other treatments before they jump to insulin. The reason though, the bottom line is your body is just not able to uh, keep up uh, with the needs uh, which is keeping your blood sugar down. So if you're, if you're like doing everything you can, your doctor is doing everything they can and your blood sugars are still high in the morning, your blood sugars are still high after you eat, that means that your body is just not able to keep up with it. Now, I'm not saying here that every time you see that your, your blood sugar is high, you need to jump on the insulin. What I'm saying is after you try everything, uh, by, by the way, trying everything is a, is a subject thing so you have to really probably see an endocrinologist and consider all your options before you jump to an insulin uh, because there are a lot of options other than insulin and in my clinic uh, it's not uncommon actually a few times a day people come to me on insulin within a couple of weeks we take them off the insulin because we offer them other options uh, we adjust their lifestyle we change their medications and boom they are they're off insulin uh, but sometimes you know, in, even in our practice, we have to do insulin after everything is fails. Uh, not that insulin is, is, is a lame drug or, or it's a horrible drug, uh, but it's just not an easy thing to do. Uh, it has some side effects such as weight gain and occasional low blood sugars can develop. Uh, but the bottom line is, if, if your blood sugars are staying high after you have tried everything in your lifestyle management and your uh, medication management, sometimes that insulin from outside is just almost like a borrowing money uh, when you tried everything and uh, you still you're still in debt then you just have to just borrow money um, so it's not always fun to borrow money but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do right as a result, you know, we sometimes give insulin either for meal times or uh, for one-time insulin that is a long-acting insulin that can help your entire body to, and then especially your liver, uh, to make sure that your blood sugar does not keep creeping up. Insulin resistance is the biggest factor, guys. Insulin, fa insulin resistance is, is a huge issue that uh, puts people on insulin. There are a lot of ways you can break it, uh, but if you are not able to break your insulin resistance and you tried everything, uh, unfortunately, you are looking for insulin. That's why uh, sometimes even type 2 diabetic patients end up taking insulin. So uh, sometimes I see a lot of patients like who take insulin and they don't care. They say, you know, just give me the insulin because I don't want to change anything in my lifestyle. Uh, but that's not always the best thing because it's going to make you gain weight and it's going to cause sometimes low blood sugars and most of all it's a painful thing. I mean you have to keep doing it. Not that it's painful to inject yourself but trying to keep uh, insulin pens around or using insulin pump etc is not always the most fun thing to do. So I always encourage my patients to adjust their lifestyle, follow our instructions so we can keep them off the insulin. Well, I hope that helps. We will see you in the next video, guys.